<clears throat> anime fan, gather around as we embark on this journey to finding the greatest anime of all time. After years of debates, tier lists, podcasts, and YouTube comments, I finally figured it out. Full Metal Alchemist, child's play. Steins Gate, it wishes. One Piece, don't make me laugh. I've put in the hours and accumulated the data of over 1 million anime fans to come to the conclusion that the greatest anime of all time is Agura Bachi. If you haven't heard of Kagura Baji, you better join the hype train now as it has taken the anime community by storm. The self-proclaimed Glazers have been actively spreading Kagura Baji propaganda all over every social media platform, most specifically TikTok. You know the hours of research I've put into figuring this out and the data mining I did? Yeah. What I meant was, it popped up in my For You page over a hundred times. To figure out why Kagura Baji got so popular, we have to go back in time to just five days before I recorded this. Twitter. <clears throat> I mean, X, has brought Kagura Bachi an unhealthy amount of hype that fueled this one-shot manga into the public eye. Are you ready for your peak writing lessons? One Piece gulps, Jujutsu Kaisen breathes heavily, Berserk nods nervously, Hunter Hunter sighs. Yes, yes Kagura Bachi, they say in unison. Obviously, if you couldn't tell in my flawless delivery, this is all just a huge joke. I'm not too sure why Kagura Bachi is so praised by the community. Is this a Morbius situation, or are we actually in the presence of the greatest MC of all time? I'm just gonna assume it's the former. I made this video today just because I wanted to start a conversation about this whole situation. I mean, come on, this has fueled some of the best memes I've seen about anime in a long time. I'm the best girl in Bleach. No, I am. You're both wrong. It's me. You're delusional. It's me. I'm the best romantic anime. No, I am. We all know it's me. I'm the best Switch game. Nah, it's me. Like what? Who even came up with this? The last widespread anime meme that I could think of off the top of my head is Vinland Saga's I Have No Enemies meme, which was actually a positive meme that changed a lot of people's perspective on life and made people want to be kinder. Bro, aren't you gonna fight back? It was probably an accident. Oh, I just saw your girlfriend cheating on you. It's okay, as long as she's happy. I just killed your mom, your dad, your brother, and your whole bloodline. That's fine, I forgive you. <laughs> By the way, I just finished Vinland Saga and it is amazing. So watch it now. Going back to Kagurabachi, I think this unforeseen hype and cult-like fanbase that has been created through memes alone is causing Kagurabachi to split into two different directions. One, which many people could assume, is that Kagurabachi is now so unbelievably hyped that no matter what happens, it will never live up to hype that it is given. Two, is there are so many memes about it being the GOAT, the whole fanbase will continue to glaze the ever-living shit out of it just as a joke, and will never be looked at as more than just a meme. The only other third possibility that could happen is that it is actually the greatest anime of all time. But come on, let's be real. This is probably the most likely choice because Kagura Abachi is the GOAT! This fanbase is actually one of the funniest fanbases of all time. Not only do we have the memes and the propaganda, but we even have fan OSTs and fan animations for a manga that has barely released its first chapter. All this motivation to create is fueled by the thought of taking the meme as far as they can in the funniest, most satirical way ever. However, despite all the jokes and whatnot, the author of the manga, Takeru Hokazono, has undoubtedly been placed under an immense amount of pressure for the sake of our enjoyment. Even if he isn't aware of it, we're discussing Kagura Bachi like it just crashed into the Twin Towers. Imagine being put in a situation where, before your first volume is even completed, everyone in the world is saying how it is better than anything they've ever seen before, and how heartbreaking it would be not to deliver this magnum opus of a manga. With just one chapter released, it has already overtaken other popular manga such as Black Clover and Spy Family. Yep, you may have heard of them. They only have like, over 50 million manga copies sold worldwide. To give some context about this manga, here's a brief synopsis of what it is. While author Takaru Hokazona hasn't revealed a lot of details about the series in the first chapter, he has given fans a glimpse of the basic plot, which revolves around the nameless swordsman seeking revenge against the Yakuza. It is revealed that this mysterious swordsman is the son of a blacksmith and has mentioned that many of the Yakuza don't deserve to live or wield their swords. Young Chihiro spends his days training under his famous swordsmith father. One day, he hopes to become a great sword maker himself, the goofy father and the serious son. They thought these days would last forever, but suddenly, tragedy strikes. A dark day soaked in blood, Chihiro and his blade now live only for revenge. Thick sword battle action. Uh, 
I don't know what that last sentence entails. Was there supposed to be a cool fight scene there or are we supposed to just conjure one up in our minds? But like, I don't know. With that out of the way, it sounds like your typical edgelord anime to me, but hey, who knows? Maybe this could be the next Chainsaw Man or Jujutsu Kaisen, or even better yet, the next Eminence in Shadow. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about Kagurabachi and if it deserves all the hype that it's currently getting. I have not read chapter 1 yet or even really know anything about it, so I can't give a full definitive response on whether or not it falls short of expectations. Please let me know anything about this manga and any thoughts about this whole situation. Like I said, I made this video for the sole purpose that I love that the anime community raised this manga to new heights purely based on a meme. Also, sorry I haven't been uploading, but every idea I've had recently has already been done or just been made better than I could have for shows I've seen recently, like Eminence and Shadow or like Vinland Saga. If you want to see those videos though, let me know and I might put them out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you're still here and subscribe if you want more content similar to this one. If you leave here with anything, let it be that Kagurabachi is the greatest anime of all time, baby. Alright, see ya.